Hello and welcome to Random Commentary number 11 with me, One Exploits, and you, however you may be. And today I'm just doing a short commentary. Uh, this is my desktop basically. Uh, hopefully, you can see. Um, that's my mic. Um, it's a Blue Yeti USB Pro. Oh, not Pro, sorry, it's just the ordinary one, was it? Just the USB. Uh, the Pro version is, uh, well, a bit more Pro. <laughs> it's 24 bit, this one's only 16 bit. So, you can see that's the box. I've had it sitting around for like ages, just sitting. So you can see my room's kind of a mess, but this is kind of last minute I'm doing this because I've been trying to sort out my Oblivion videos because uh, recently my hard drive crashed. Um, oh, this is the new one I just got. It's only a 2 terabyte. Um, it's a Seagate 2 terabyte. It only cost me like 60 quid on eBay plus postage. I just got it today actually, so I was like in kind of a rush to get this. Uh, went down to the post office to get it, pick it up. As you can see, everything's flying everywhere over, over my bed. I'm running out of battery power, of course. Uh, this is the old um, external hard drive with all my footage on it. It's like three terabyte. As you can hear, it's broken. Uh, it's USB three, so it was. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have USB three on my computer because I bought it in December. Uh, I don't know if you can actually fit USB 3 ports onto your uh, motherboard because th I'm pretty sure like why is this light coming on? I'm pretty sure you have to have a motherboard that's compatible with USB 3 which is the newer ones uh, mine's from December so or even before that the technology because I bought it in December so it may have been before that as you can hear that's very broken it basically was sitting here on top of this tower, which is massive this top. And I stood in the wire and just fell boom onto the floor. Don't know if this is best camera work as you can see, look at the friggin' mess of the wires. I'm not surprised like that is just a mess. That's my plugs. And one of them is for this broken thing. Obviously take that one out. Uh, I really have to untangle this. As I say I'm quite lazy of these things. That's my chair. My headphones, which are just Sennheiser, basic. So, uh, as you can see, it's tangled up. No mess of wires. Spaghetti junction. That's my uh, Samsung screen, if you can see it. Uh, it's 24 inch, I'm pretty sure. You can see. Um, it's on the YouTube page, of course, as usual. Um, so I'm uploading at the minute, as you can see. Uh, this will be a short commentary, as I said, just showing you my bits and bobs outside. Um, that's the Blue Yeti microphone. As you can see, it's just a USB lead, so it's very, very handy. I actually do have an audio interface, that's it there, the Moto Ultralight MK. Uh, what is an MK3? Yeah. You can see that just a bud, I hope, hopefully. I'm not the best with the camera. Uh, this camera is just a... What is it? Uh, it is a Panasonic. It's just a Panasonic HD camera. It's, it's pretty good. It's got 35 optical zoom. I can't actually remember the name. It's the 7 or something it's called. Got it a few years ago, like one or two years ago. So I have a pillow on the chair just to support because it's not the best. You can see my ass imprint on the seat. That's good. <laughs> it's just a basic chair. It's got a rip in it. Probably need to get a new one. Especially if I have to put a pillow on it to support my... Not that I'm the heaviest person, only weigh about 12 stone, so... That's the mess, that's another chair, but there's a mess on it, obviously. That's my, you see my speaker over there, that's one of my uh, audio monitor speakers I haven't used in like five years. <laughs> there's the boxes for them up there. 
Uh, that's some error to clean out my PC. I actually need to clean it out right now. Shaky hand. This is supposed to have anti-shake hand. But when you zoom in it obviously increases the shake quite considerably. Considerably, if I can speak. Don't know if the mic is any good on this uh, video recorder. Don't think it is. It's probably going to sound like shit on this. That spawn. <laughs> One of my figures. And I got the boxes there. Ultra Red MK3. Got World of Warcraft. Cataclysm Collector's Edition, unopened because I haven't played. I basically quit at Cataclysm, so you can see the Collector's Edition still wrapped. Probably going to sell out on eBay or something, but the price isn't the best at the minute. Maybe it'll go up, I don't know. Got some cars there from when I was annoyed. I don't know why they're sitting there, just sitting there, gathering dust. Some CDs. Yeah. More mess on my bed, of course. That's just where I opened. I got a, I got an external hard drive and an internal three terabyte one and an external two terabyte. So yeah, I should have done an unboxing video. That would be funny, but uh, it's nothing special. Like, I could actually unbox this now. Let's see. I should be using this. That's my uh, Zoom H2 handy recorder. You can see it. Pretty nice. Let's just set this down here. I'll set this stand up. Um, put it in the bottom of this. Can I actually move this camera a lot because I have it plugged in because the charge is basically empty on it. I just gotta set it here. So this is the hard drive I got. Let's unbox it. As you can see there, three terabyte. That's a three terabyte. SATA 64 megabyte cache, Western Digital. Uh, it's green, so it's environmentally friendly. Apparently, don't really want to take it out of the case before before I install it. So that's basically that. Um, this is like going into my random commentary section, which is like random gameplay content. So um, it's not obviously gameplay. This so. Um, if you can think of a better name, please do leave it in the comments below. Because um, I can't. Uh, random gameplay content was a pretty good name, I thought. Uh, but it was mostly gameplay. Like, I do do. Obviously, I'm going to do more gameplay. But uh, this obviously isn't gameplay. So, we've got our case here. It's actually pretty massive. It's supposed to be a cooler master, but uh, recently it's gotten pretty damn hot. I think it needs cleaned out. Uh, that's why I bought the spray cans. What do you see? Bought the cans of spray just to clean it out. Uh, pressurized air, just. It's basically the best thing for cleaning out your PC. Uh, you just take off the cap and spray away. Don't want to really waste it because they do run out very fast. So I actually bought three of those, and also some isopropyl alcohol, which I used to clean out uh, the more intricate bits with a bit of cotton bud or something. You just dip it in with a cotton bud and then clean around your computer basically, so that's that. Also highly flammable, so lots of fun with that. <laughs> yeah, got our classic. I don't know why that's our music tech, I haven't even opened that. That's like four or five years old. This is that ultimate sample, Evil Dead, oh my god. That was a shitty game, but the only reason I bought it, it came with uh, the Evil Dead movie. This is my old, 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 old PlayStation 2 from way back, covered in stickers from PlayStation magazine. When I used to get that, this is like ancient. I've had this since 2001, I think. So, it's such an ancient powerhouse of a machine. <laughs> powerhouse, yeah. 
but it's quite dirty as well, as you can see. Let's see what we have in it at the moment. We can turn it on, can we? Yep, we can. I usually have a lamp flat, but you can turn it up, which was a nice feature. Let's turn it this way. Yep, we got Final Fantasy 12 in there. I'm actually playing through that now. Um, I played through about 40 hours of it on release. That's actually a pre-release copy. A promotional copy, if you will. I think it's called a promotional copy, yeah. Uh, I got it like a week before release or something. It's one of my favorite Final Fantasy games, so yeah. Even though I only played like 40 hours of it, and then I, like five, four years later, I pick up where I left off because I have the same memory card, same system. So let's just turn that off. So it's like continuing from the point that it was four years ago. And it's weird you do actually remember how it, how it works still. Anyway, um, this is my case. My big fans. You can probably hear that in the background of my commentaries usually. Open the door up here. You can see I removed those just for more air. Sometimes you open the door to get more air in. Quite a lot of stains over this. It's not good. You can see the, the actual readout there. It's 22 degrees at the moment. It's quite high. You can adjust the knobs here. But they're all already maxed. I can turn this one off. That's turning one of the fans off. Obviously, if you turn them off, the heat will go way up. So I need to get some more fans actually into it, especially now I have another hard drive to install. Just wanted to give you a basic look at my equipment and might as well have a tour of my room while you're at it. Oh hi! So you get an idea. It's a window. That's a bed. It's a handy recorder on the bed. That's a load of junk, if you can get it all in picture. I think I already showed you that, that's some DVDs and stuff and games. Uh, some of these are mixed up like, I, uh, there's my sunglasses. And some weights. That's my laptop, I'll show you that. So that's my, a look at my laptop here. Just a uh, Acer Aspire basic. I got it a couple of years ago. Um, I think it was the end of 2008, so it's quite old now, that, but still does the job. Um, it's a very good uh, PC. It's got, I think it's got 4 gigabyte of RAM. It's, um, Windows Vista, unfortunately. I got it just before. Unfortunately, I didn't. I didn't think about. I think I got it just before Windows 7 came out, or it was in beta at the time. I might have just. I think it was out, but like, I don't know why I didn't get it. You see, my desktop is really cluttered in that also. I have quite a lot. I have some games on that, as I said on, on my last commentary. I have uh, quite a few games on there. Oh, hi there. Aha, why has it gone off, fuck's sake. Always does this. Why? Yeah, there's my desktop. Um, yeah, this always pops up. At the very start. I was saying last time I used the tracker pod, as you can see there. Just this thing here. Doot. Um, it was good value for the time, it was about 400 quid, so it was pretty good value. Uh, still pr a pretty good PC like if I can stop hiccuping It's got a decent enough. It's got N NVIDIA N500 GS graphics card, which is decent I um, mean you can run older games, but uh, obviously you can't run stuff like Battlefield 3 and uh, Crisis But you can run like Torchlight and stuff like that So it's it's good for just chilling out with which is what I do Obviously I don't use this for gaming as such, but I do have some games on it Go away. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show you some of my equipment. Um, I actually use this to upload uh, quite a lot. Um, 
It has two drives on it, they're quite small though. It's only like 107 gigabytes, 111 gigabytes, very small in fact. Um, but I do put like videos on here, as you can see, and I upload them from here. Uh, when I'm traveling or going, when I'm not in this uh, room. So I'll take this with me. So it's nice, let's shut that down and close it over. Lots of look at that laptop. It's a 16 inch uh, screen on it, by the way. So it's pretty nice. Um, I think that's about it. Don't know why I have a cycling helmet. I haven't cycled in ages, and you can see my extensive collection of headsets. I have a kind of a fetish for headsets. I have quite a lot of them. That's an AK G's. They're like 100 quid, 190 quid, I think they were. 190 dollars, anyway. Uh, I got them a few years ago though, and that one's completely broken because I stood on it, so yeah. Don't know why that's sitting there. And those ones are Cyber Sniper, they were shit though, they were USB plugins, which are rubbish, so I, I like the, uh, the little stick plugin, the jack plugin is better for me. Got a clock there, 13.27 on Saturday. That's my Moto, as I said. I crash Bandicoot on the top for some reason. Sometimes I just have random discs sitting up because I'm looking through them for different things. Yeah, I think that's Cubius there, is it? Have a look. Yeah, that's Cubius 5. Got Devil May Cry under there as well. I was going to do a playthrough of that and I got a capture card and everything, but capture card isn't that great, so... I used to see my other headsets also. Sennheiser PC350. I have a lot of headsets. Well, that's the one I was actually using, sorry. I broke the... Uh, the mic off it. <laughs> which was unfortunate, so I had to obviously buy a new mic, which was that. So I upgraded, basically. There's my old Sony headset. And it's also broken, cost me 50 quid. Should really be more careful with these things. Um, it's an old, old iPod, seriously ancient. And a bucket full of crap, of course. Another box full of crap. It's usually packed full of CDs, basically. So if you want to see more of my CD collection or anything else, what's in these cupboards, clothes. And this is my synth underneath this crop. Just set it on my bed for now. Covered in dust. It's an ASH201 basic. I haven't actually used it in quite some time. It's quite a nice modeling synth. I got it because my dad actually had a SH201 from the 80s, so it's kind of nice. But he sold that for like 700 quid, so yeah. Don't know if this will go up in that value, it's only worth like 300 quid at the moment, so I bought it for about 400 new, but obviously it's gone down in price since then. Got shoot. Um, as I say, I have my PlayStation 2 sitting there. I just play that and that, that's a standard definition TV. That's the old one, the newer one's downstairs, the HD TV. Um, it's uh, what's that? Crop. But uh, the newer one is actually an HD TV, and I have my PS3 down there. Um, you can see into that cupboard. That's my PS3 box. The toaster version, yeah. I still have the toaster version. I was thinking of buying a new one because I need more hard drive space. So that one is 80 gigabyte or is it 60? 60 gigabytes, sorry. Got magazines in there, and my first—that was my first external storage device. The one terabyte which crashed, fell off the top of the tower as well. Just like this one, which is broken as you can hear. Very broken. Now I think that's about it.
Got my PSP there. Copy of Final Fantasy, uh, I think that's 7 Tactics or something, shit like that. One of the better ones, but yeah. Oh yeah, my silver collection, I'll show you that. I can show you my silver collection here. It's kind of nice. Um, get the two 1kgs. Uh, it's actually going down in price now. I bought it when it was $35 an ounce. Um, actually, when it was between $30 and $35 an ounce, I bought it. Uh, it's down at $32 right now. It went up to $50, so I wish I'd actually sold it when it was at $50. I did buy it as an investment, but uh, might have to hang on to it quite a bit longer. I'll get rid of that out of the shop. Got another one kg bar. Quite nice. Prefer this one though, it's a nice solid solid lump. You can stack them up <laughs> if you want. Got quite a few coins also. I don't know if you can see that if it's focusing. What's this out? Philharmonic, they call them. Yeah, it's 2010, I think. Yep. And this one is Silverton Eagle. They're all 999 silver. I don't have any gold, just silver. As you can see. And what's this? Somalia. 100 shillings. Yeah. Another Philharmonic. That's a Liberty. 2010. Silver dollar. Kind of nice. I keep them in the cases because it keeps them nice and preserved. Canadian maple leaf. Silver dollar, worth five dollars apparently, but it's worth actually thirty-two. In bullion, obviously all these are worth their weight in bullion. That's another dollar. Got an Australian kookaburra, kookaburra. It's very very shiny. That's a, maybe it's the magpie in me that likes these so much. I think it is. The magpie in me is so attracted to these because it's so shiny, especially on this viewfinder. It's like so, 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 so shiny, if I can say so. It's very nice. And this one's from the 87, the oldest one I have. Very, very nice. It's got a different sort of shine to it, kind of more silver, if you will. <laughs> And United States of America, one ounce fine silver. It's actually flipped. If you flip it, it's like upside down. And uh, got a Mexican Libertad. Libertad. I don't know if that's how you say it. It's not quite as shiny, but it's nice. I like to have a range of these. The only one I'm missing, I think, is the first majestic coin, which I was after for quite a while. Not that I really collect coins, but. I do collect silver. It's not collecting, it's like an investment more than collecting, but it's nice to have a look at them. Another silver dollar. Another Somalian thing. That one's. I have a 2011 one, 2010 one. Bought the 2011 ones at the start of this year, so it's like quite a while ago. And this one's probably the nicest one. It's uh, Britannia. Well, it's not the nicest one, but the most recent one I got, anyway. It's 2011. Isn't it? Yep. Britannia. Quite rare, I think, then. Um, just got more Philharmonicus, I think, in here. Because I bought, like, a 10 roll of them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. They're just Philharmonic, those three. 
And this was the first one I got. It's actually a silver chain also. I bought for it. Uh, this is, I think this is sterling silver though, which is 925. It's not quite as shiny as you can tell. It's still an ounce though. It's quite nice. It's the first bit I got back in 2008. For like $18, so it was a lot cheaper then. Don't know if it's going to go back down in price, but I hope, I hope it doesn't. But if it does, it's always an opportunity to buy more. So you can see my collection there. Uh, it's pretty much my only investment. I used to have like uh, figures and stuff, but I sold them off. I had like Futurama figures. I had the Golden Bender, but I sold that off on eBay. I don't have anything left except this stuff. So hopefully the price of this does go down, or I'm pretty much screwed. Put them back in the box. Put your toys back in the box. <laughs> yeah. Quite a nice collection. Just keep it in this basic box. Quite sturdy and basic. I don't know actually. I don't know what this was originally for. It's just like shitty wood, but pretty solid. It's not solid wood, obviously. It's plated or whatever you call that shit. Like you shred it up and then plate it with a piece of cheap wood. But it does does the job. I guess about it, so if I can stand up here with this wire, I've actually got this plugged in at the minute to the spaghetti junction. Oh, yeah, I didn't show you my, my keyboard. Hopefully, it's not too dirty. Like, it does get very dirty. You have to get, like, I have to get a wee vacuum. You can actually use the air cans to spray there, spray the dirt out. So, you can see here, you can turn the volume or the lighting up and down here. It's quite nice. What is this, a Sidewinder, Microsoft Sidewinder keyboard, I think, and mouse. I think that's a Sidewinder, I'm not actually sure. Lost one of the feet off this. It's quite a nice mouse, I like the buttons on the side here. They're really good for like grenades and stuff. Like This metal button doesn't seem to work, the click, but it rolls, which is good. And you can select your speed, there's middle, lowest, highest, I always have it in highest. Um, I don't know what that button does. You can put a weight in it. There's a like a little drawer here that you can add a weight into to make it heavier. If I can just if I can do this with one hand, it'll be good. Hang on. There it is. So you can see that just slides out. Just slides out like that. And you can slide it into the side there. You can see that. It's quite nice, it gives it a nice weight to it. I have the 10 gram and the 5 gram in it just to give it that bit of weight. You just slot that in the side. Close it up like that. It's 2000 dots prints, which isn't bad, like. But they have like 5000 dots prints now. So yeah, there's QBS4 and some other junk down the side on a mixer. Yeah, you got quite a lot of junk around about, but that's my mic, obviously. Blocks a bit of my screen, but I usually have a point like that. So you can see where it sits on my desk, and my chair's like here. So yeah, hopefully this hasn't been too jerky. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's my old microphone there. Shitty one. This is the new Uber one, <laughs> if you will. Yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. And hopefully you've enjoyed this impromptu tour of my room and look at my equipment and stuff. So once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and as always, have a nice day.